Now the question is, how do we distinguish between self-determination and self-differentiation? And to answer this question, we need to look what we mean by those words. After cleavage, the cells start becoming more and more determined, yet their size and their shape is not different from each other. So um, we said up to the moment of cleavage and until you get to the blastula stage, the cells are still very similar and you can still split the embryo into multiple embryos and develop a full organism. But eventually that ability is lost and it is lost because the cells are now committed to a specific um, type of tissue. So this happens while we go through this process, even though we might not see it, it might not be visual. So what is happening in the cells is they're turning certain genes off and those genes are putting them in a specific pathway. On the other hand, when a cell is differentiated, so first a cell has to be determined and then it will be able to differentiate. When it differentiates, now the morphology of the cell has changed. So now you can see that the cell, if it's becoming a red blood cell, is going to be different from a cell that will become a muscle cell. And this difference is evident when you look at the cell itself. While in a cell that is determined, the difference is not visible. The cells have changed their gene expression, but you cannot see it in their morphology. So distinguishing a cell that is determined from one that is differentiated, you say a cell that is determined is one that is committed to a particular cell type, but its uh, shape hasn't changed. While a cell that is that should be differentiated is a cell that has a different morphology and it's becoming a more specialized cell. An analogy to this change will be that of a undergraduate student who doesn't know what he is going to be and just enter college but declare his major, that would be determination. It's, it's a student who is determined to become an engineer or a pre-med, but it's not yet a pre-med or it's not yet an engineer, so therefore it's not, not differentiated yet. But once you get your degree, then you will be differentiated and you will be an engineer at that moment. We can test whether a cell has been already determined, even if we cannot see it by the change in the morphology, if we can transplant a cell from one area, like here, cells from the tail of the embryo are transplanted into the head of the embryo, if those cells develop as the cells where they were placed, that means those cells were not determined as they develop as they will be at their new location and not from their previous location. On the other hand, if you do the same experiment and you take cells from the tail and you place them on the head, but they still develop as cells from the tail, that means that when you took those cells in this step, those cells had already been determined. So that when you place them here, they were already committed to becoming tail cells, even if you put them in the head of the embryo. Understanding the molecular mechanisms behind cell determination and cell differentiation is very important for cloning and for therapeutical uh, purposes. So if you want to restore tissue, you want to be able to take other cells and reprogram them so that they can become the new tissue that you want to replace. And there are multiple ways in which this can be done or multiple um, methods for doing this. One is by taking an oocyte, taking a cell that is it's going to be an egg cell and replace the nucleus of that cell with that of a somatic cell. So that is what's happening here. The other way to do this is by taking a somatic cell and fuse it with a stem cell. Now, when you do this, the cell becomes pluripotent, but now you have 
a tetraploid cell is you have a diploid cell that you're fusing with another diploid cell. Another way is to take a culture of germ cells and then give them the specific transcription factors so that they develop into the type of cell that you want. Or there's new methods that we are developing in which they're coming up with the signals of the transcription factors that undo the changes that happen during cell determination. So if you remember, cell determination is the process of changing gene expression. If you can reverse those changes in gene expression, then you can create or turn differentiated cells back into pluripotent or even totipotent cells.